Welcome to the world of A Woman Under the Influence, a 1974 film that delves into the complexities of family dynamics and the unraveling of a woman's psyche. Directed by John Cassavetes, the cinematic exploration captivates audiences with its raw portrayal of mental health and societal expectations. As you reflect on the myriad roles within the film, the question naturally arises, out of the many characters, which one left an indelible mark on you? The ensemble cast, led by Jenner Rollins in a powerful performance, weaves a narrative that confronts the fragility of human emotions and the strains of societal conformity. Now, let's turn the lens towards you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this cinematic gem? Whether it's an emotional connection, a thought-provoking moment, or a shared viewing experience, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. But before we dive into your reflections, let's add a layer of intrigue with some random facts about the film. Did you know that A Woman Under the Influence was an independent production, shot in a mere 30 days with a budget of under $1 million? Such behind-the-scenes details enhance our appreciation for the dedication and craftsmanship that went into this compelling work. So, as you ponder your favorite role or share your personal connection to the film, remember that A Woman Under the Influence is more than just a movie. It's an exploration of the human condition and the complexities that shape us. Share your thoughts and memories below. We can't wait to hear your unique perspective on this cinematic journey. And who knows, your comment might just spark a conversation that adds another layer to the rich tapestry of A Woman Under the Influence. In a 1975 interview, John Cassavetes revealed that Jenner Rollins inspired the lead role in A Woman Under the Influence. Initially conceived as a play, Rollins persuaded Cassavetes to adapt it into a film, citing the emotional strain of nightly performances. Cassavetes admitted that filmmaking, for him, was partly driven by a sense of vengeance, but he obediently wrote the script with Rollins in mind. The film's genesis thus reflects a collaborative effort rooted in the trust between director and lead actress. In a 2004 interview with Peter Falk and Jenna Rollins, insights into Cassavetes' unconventional filmmaking approach emerged. The absence of rehearsals beyond a table read set a unique tone on set. Falk recalled an incident where, just before a crucial scene, Cassavetes impulsively added a blue hat to his character's wardrobe an unexpected touch that significantly influenced the character's portrayal. This spontaneous approach extended to the filming process itself, with actors often unaware that the camera was rolling. This unscripted method contributed to the genuine emotional reactions captured on screen, such as Falk's authentic shock during a pivotal scene. Despite its unconventional production, a woman under the influence earned a lasting place in cinematic history. The film secured a spot in the official top 250 narrative feature films on Letterboxd, attesting to its enduring impact and the recognition it continues to receive within the global film community. In conclusion, the collaborative genesis of the film and Cassavetes' unorthodox directing style played pivotal roles in shaping the raw and emotionally charged narrative of a woman under the influence, ultimately solidifying its status as a cinematic classic. Nominated for two Academy Awards, 1,974 Seconds A Woman Under the Influence stands as John Cassavetes' sole directorial recognition from the Oscars. Despite the acclaim, the film didn't secure an Oscar win in any category. Notably, this cinematic work marks a pivotal point in Cassavetes' career, revealing a unique approach to filmmaking. The collaboration between Cassavetes and lead actress Jenna Rollins, who also happens to be the mother of Zan Cassavetes, played a crucial role in shaping the raw and emotionally charged narrative. The film's enduring impact is evident in its lasting recognition within the global film community, solidifying its status as a cinematic classic. To finance the production of the film, John Cassavetes took a significant financial risk, remortgaging his home, and Peter Falk contributed from his earnings on Columbo. Facing difficulty in finding buyers, Cassavetes invested $750,000 of his own money to release the movie. With the guidance of distributor Jeff Lipsky, they adopted a unique strategy, renting out theaters to showcase the film. This unconventional approach paid off, as a woman under the influence eventually played globally, grossing $12 million. Initially conceived as a play, Cassavetes was convinced by his wife, Jenna Rollins, to adapt it into a film. 
She argued that the emotionally demanding role would be too overwhelming for nightly performances. This collaboration between Cassavetes and Rollins played a crucial role in shaping the intense and authentic narrative of the movie. At one premiere, Peter Falk experienced an unexpected reaction from the audience. During the closing credits, he was booed, and Cassavetes later explained that it was due to the emerging women's rights movement, with viewers naturally rooting for Rollins' character. The film's journey from financial risk to global success highlights Cassavetes' commitment to his vision and the unconventional methods employed in bringing a woman under the influence to audiences worldwide. The enduring impact of this cinematic classic is a testament to the unique collaboration and risk-taking that defined its production, securing its place in film history. Included among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, a woman under the influence achieved lasting recognition. This acknowledgement places the film in a prestigious list edited by Steven Schneider, emphasizing its significance in cinematic history. The raw and emotionally charged narrative, shaped by the collaborative effort between director John Cassavetes and lead actress Jenna Rollins, resonates beyond its release. The film's inclusion in the National Film Registry in 1990 further cements its cultural, historical, and aesthetic importance. A Woman Under the Influence stands as a testament to Cassavetes' unconventional filmmaking approach, characterized by minimal rehearsals and spontaneous decisions on set. This distinctive method contributed to genuine emotional reactions captured on screen, earning the film a spot in Roger Ebert's Great Movies list. Despite financial risks and initial challenges in finding buyers, the unique strategy of renting out theaters propelled the film's global success. Hasavit's commitment to his vision, coupled with Roland's convincing argument to adapt the emotionally demanding role into a film, showcases the determination behind the cinematic classic. With enduring impact and recognition in influential lists, A Woman Under the Influence solidifies its place among must-see movies, standing as a timeless example of collaborative art in the world of cinema. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing tapestry of emotions woven in the classic film that has left an indelible mark on our hearts, take a moment to unravel the threads of your own connection with the cinematic masterpiece we've explored together. A Woman Under the Influence, a cinematic voyage into the complexities of human relationships, has stirred the depths of our souls. As the credits roll and the echoes of each poignant scene linger in the recesses of your thoughts, I invite you to share the fragments of your experience. What moments resonated with you? Which characters left an indelible imprint on your perception? Whether it's the raw vulnerability of the performances or the intricate storytelling that touched your core, your reflections breathe life into the shared tapestry of our collective cinematic journey. In this digital agora, let the comments section be a canvas where you paint your impressions, a virtual fireplace where the warmth of your thoughts illuminates our shared appreciation. Your words are the echo of the film's resonance, creating a mosaic of perspectives that enrich the collective tapestry of our cinematic appreciation. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey with me. Your reflections are the final strokes on the canvas, completing the masterpiece of our shared experience. Until we meet again on another journey through the realms of storytelling, may your thoughts on a woman under the influence continue to dance in the corridors of your consciousness. Gratefully yours.